Hi, it's Matt with TomatoMilling.com. Today we're talking about the Fabio Leonardi SP3 hand cranked tomato milling machine. This is one of the largest tomato milling machines that is a hand cranked model before you go into the electric models. Let's take a look at it. We're going to take you through the process of the tomatoes and the components that come with this unit. First we'll start with a stainless steel hopper. This is a very large hopper for processing a lot of tomatoes. It is ten and a quarter inches in diameter four and a quarter inches in depth and it feeds into a two and a quarter inch diameter hole. This allows you to fill a lot of tomatoes and you don't have to cut them very small in order to fit down the neck. The tomatoes, once fed down the neck, feed into this cast iron spiral. The cast iron spiral gets tighter and tighter through this five inch long screen and presses the tomatoes against the screen so the pulp and the juice run down the trough into a collection bowl and the skins and seed come out the end into a refuse bowl. The length of this screen is very important. It is a long screen so it can load more tomatoes in to get the job done quicker. The body is made of cast iron designed to last for a very long time. The screen is stainless steel. One key note with tomato milling machines is when you have a cast iron spiral and a stainless steel screen the first run should be discarded. When you turn the cast iron spiral it will conform itself to the screen and you may get some metal shavings. This is okay and normal. It's in order to form a tight squeeze between the spiral and the screen itself. It's designed to have metal and metal contact and trap the tomatoes in each rung of the spiral. You can use old tomatoes or wet bread or something of that nature for your first run in order to throw it away. After your first run, you want to coat this with olive oil before using. Once the tomatoes work their way down, they will act as a lubricant, but until the tomatoes get there, the olive oil will work as a lubricant for the metal on metal contact. The SB3, being a larger scale hand cranked tomato milling machine, shares one of the attributes that the commercial Fabio Leonardi machines feature. It's a gasketless attachment from the screen to the body of the unit. This threading screws in, but it does not have a rubber gasket. Now this is key because rubber gaskets over time will dry out, crack, have smells, and also carry bacteria. They have to be replaced. Fabio Leonardi eliminated this by allowing the trough to catch any juices that flow through the spiral. Since you're trying to get juice into the trough anyway, they figured, why stop the juices from flowing through here? The seeds and skins still cannot make it through. Just catch the juice and add it to the reservoir of other juices and pulp coming from the tomatoes. The base is an easy clamping style base. It can fit a one and a quarter inch thick tabletop or less. Thank you for watching our video. At tomatomilling.com, we are dedicated to tomato milling machines. We have parts available for all the machines we carry, we have instructional videos, informational videos, instruction manuals, and a well-educated staff to help you make the right choice for your situation. We have staff that is available seven days a week. We have phone support. We have live chat. We have email support. However you want to reach us, we're available, and we have your answers that you need. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.